Hello everybody, welcome to Outlast. I'm going to be playing this in preparation for Outlast 2, which I'm very excited for. I'm going to be playing this all the way through, and as you can see, I started again, and I've beaten this game before, but we're going to start from the very beginning. And here we go, we're going to play on normal, because that's just what I like. Outlast contains intense violence, gore, graphics, sexual content, and strong language. Please enjoy. You are Miles Upshur, an investigative reporter whose ambition is about to earn an in intimate tour of hell on earth. Always willing to risk digging into the stories no other journalist would dare investigate, you will seek out the dark secret at the heart of Mount Massive Asylum. Stay alive as long as you can record everything. You are not a fighter to navigate the horrors of Mount Massive and expose the truth. Your only choice are to run, hide, or die. Alright, here we go. Love this game. Definitely one of my favorite horror games next to uh, Alien Isolation. Love that one. I'll play that one eventually as well. I'm just starting with Outlast because Outlast 2 is so close to coming out. And yeah, here we go. Oh boy, here we go. And there you can see it. Mount Massive Asylum. Oh boy. It's been a while, so... Here we go. I'm hyped for it, though. Alright. Also, this is my first commentary, so... Expect silences and awkward things. I'm sorry. <laughs> Alright, September 17th, 2013 to at gmail.com. You don't know me. You have to make this quick. They might be monitoring. Monitoring. I did two weeks of software con consult at Murkoff Psychiatric System facilities in Mount Massive. All sorts of NDAs. I'm very much breaking right now, but seriously, fuck those guys. Seriously, terrible things are happening there. Don't understand it. Don't believe half the things I saw. Doctors talking about dream therapy going too deep. Finding something that has been waiting for them in the mountain. People are being hurt and Murkoff is making money. It needs to be exposed. Alright. I'm ready. Gotta get all our gear ready for this. Our handy dandy camera with its handy night vision which we're going to be using very much. And here we go. Oh, that'd be intimidating. It was when I played this. Alright. If you guys have anything in here. No, there's nothing. Alright. So let's go. Do that. Where's your camcorder? Zoom in. I start feeling sick just looking at this place. Mount Massive Asylum shut down amid scandal and government secrecy in 1971. Reopened by Murkoff Psychiatric Systems in 2009 under the guise of a charitable organization. Cell phone reception cut off abruptly a mile out, more like a jammer than lost signal. The Murkoff Corporation has a long track record of disguising profit as charity but never on American soil. Whatever they thought they could get out of a place has what they could I'm sorry. Whatever they thought they could get out of this place has to be big. Finally, might finally be the story that breaks the bastards. Alright. It will be, if we make it out alive. I would not do this, like, just seeing an abandoned asylum, like, I would not go into knowing this. Especially with that kind of a, 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 a email from a whistleblower. I mean, it'd be cool to explore an abandoned place, but if I saw someone before I entered, I would leave. 
Oh boy. Alright. Oh shit. I'm gonna turn that down a bit. It's a little too much. Alright. It's been so long. <laughs> then, uh, like, this is a great horror game. I enjoy it very much, I believe. Ugh. I'm sorry for the volume changes. I just need to find the perfect volume. I should have done it before, but... Yeah. Gotta get everything. Oh. Cool. Yeah, now if I start seeing blood on the walls and like just ransacked everything, I think I think it's a clear indicator to get out before you go way too far. Okay. Murkoff Psychiatric System Project Wall Rider. A therapy status. Patient claims to have progressed to self directed lucid dream states. Morphogenic engine activate activity observed at unprecedented scale. Continuing stage four hormone schedule. Diagnostics spirometry reveal no bronchial accumulation. Hematro hematocrit centrifuge again failed separate. No. I'm sorry. <laughs> MI revealed arrhythmic REM slash NREM cycle after an NREM state. Interview notes. Billy asks about the status of his mother's lawsuit against Murkoff in the asylum. This represents a catastrophic breach in security, despite Billy's claims that he discovered the truth in the blood of the dreams of Dr. Traeger. Note, the only Traeger on company records, one Richard Traeger, is an executive from MRD. All orderlies and security personnel must be questioned in video security improved to include analytical biometrics. Murkoff Psychiatric Systems Project Wall Rider Mount Massive CO. Oh boy. I'll get ya. Yeah, no, I think once you see blood dripping from the walls, or let alone just blood over there, it's, it's not worth it to go. If only we have money to get one last drink. Before we went in. Nah, it's too late to turn back. Going way too far in. Oops. Ugh. Now we can't turn back. Alright. Oh god. <laughs> that got me. Slight little jump though, not massive reaction. Out of my way. They killed us. You got out. The variants. You can't fight them. You have to hide. You can unlock the main doors for the security control. Yeah. You have to get the fuck out of this terrible place. Yeah, thank you. So, that was notes. I'm inside. I'm inside. Bodies everywhere. Blood, burn marks, heads line up like bottles behind a bar. Dead Murkoff scientists hung from the ceiling. Their badges say Murkoff Advanced Research Systems. Murkoff's longtime MO has been to profit off the exploitation of supposed charity. Fuck the third world and bankroll another billion. How did Murkoff think they would make money off building a full of crazy people? There's some kind of tactical top cop pinned pin like a pig on a spite. Tells me to get the fuck out and then dies. Would have been a good thing to hear when I could li still leave the way I came. Should have left before you even got here when you saw blood. Here we go. That's really gotta hurt. And who 
are you then? Miles Upshur. Investigative journalist. I I see. Merciful God, you have sent me an apostle. Guard your life, son. You have a calling. Uh, proclaim the gospel. Porter's notebook. Escape the asylum. All right. Easy, right? Uh, the Murkoff Corp. United States office. Affinitive. Yeah, affinitives have been made before the board of directors by Murkoff Hardline Security, MHS, who has reason to believe catastrophic security failure of psychiatric center with imminent danger of environment contamination. We are satisfied that the affirmatives and testimony establish sufficient as evidence to require urgent action on part of MHS and grounds for issuance of this warrant. You are hereby required to grant MHS full access to all facilities and surrender complete authority to its agents. By accepting this document, you and any surviving relatives surrender all claims of litigation against the Murkoff Corp. or its subsidiaries for the action of MHS or the circumstances which require their actions regardless of responsibility. Alright. I should have had a timer. I don't know how long I've been recording now. Probably not too long though. Uh, I think I go down this way. No. Is there anything on here though? Yeah, a battery. So that was nice coming down here at least. I'll stock up on those. Who knows when we'll need them. Anything back here? No? Alright. Well, here we go. It wasn't that way, but it's in here then. Gotta make sure I don't miss anything, especially batteries, which are very important. Um, yeah, alright. Safe to go, I think. Yep. Anything in here? No? Oh, no, here. Right here. Cool. Murkoff Psychiatric Systems Project Wall Rider. The therapy status Morphogenic Engine. Activity plateaued at roughly 2,000 ppm. Unsafe to progress beyond stage 3 hormone schedule. Diagnostics, spirometer, spirometry revealed light to medium bronchial accumulation. MRI scans consistent with p patients' reported dreams. Interview notes. Walker was interviewed in restraints following his self-inflicted mutilations. Restraint have, restraint have had to be altered to accommodate his enormous size. Extensive dermal eruptions as consistent with failed morphogenic engine cellular activity. He claims the skin ripped from his forehead allows for a truer way of seeing. Seems to have some boyhood experience with Tara Tara lizards and their partial eyes. He has expressed anxiety about his flesh, specifically his lips and nose. Attending orderlies should be advised to watch for further self-mutilation. The mental traumas he sustained while serving in Afghanistan seem to be retarding progress of the ME process. His predominant fixation, amplified by therapy, is a manic exaggeration of military security protocol. The continuation of both chemical and physical restraints is highly recommended. Dude's big, so... I believe, yeah. All right. Uh, notes. A crowd of broken men watching a dead channel. They look like patients. They survive whatever happened here, but nobody's home. Oh, this isn't even the worst. I wish we could go back and just end it here. <laughs> Gotta do it for journalism, though. Uh, here we go. 
I'm gonna take the camera down. Don't need to record everything. Alright. Alright, that one got me too, so volume up is definitely the best way to go if you haven't played a, or if you play through a horror game several times, because all these guys that never got me before are getting me now. Uh, oh, wait, what am I going through here? I need to go back here. I don't know why, what I was looking for. Uh, I need to go down here. Oh, that's not a good sign. Let's make note of it. Oh, shit. <laughs> Why? Oh, uh, here we go. Witness. Ew. Ew. And everyone knows the head. Ugh. Is there anything in here? I feel like there should be, but there's not. Oh no, there's a battery. Oh! I don't know why that got me. <laughs> Whoops. Uh, I'm, so, I'm, I'm such a pussy. I'm sorry. Uh, is there anything in here? I just want to make sure I don't miss anything. Batteries, documents. I'm gonna keep a lookout for the documents and record everything I can. From Helen Grant to Group 8416, Murkoff Corp. LU. Subject Project Wall Rider on Site Inspection. Dear Sirs, the full report pending. No immediate action is required on the part of the Murkoff Corp. The profit potential of Project Wall Rider remains staggeringly high. The four facilities contain enough ambiguous data to make any litigation, if evidence is correctly managed, impossible. Project Wall Rider remains a dangerous. Sorry. Uh, Project Wall Rider remains a dangerous initiative, and there will mo almost certainly be further casualties. As with the others, however, family and government interest in the patients is so low as to keep, as to make any chance of legal action vanishingly unlikely. Violence among patients is increasing as the morphogenic engine therapy gets closer to producing working modules but a combination of physical and chemical restraints has proven sufficiently per efficient to assure continued protocol or control and profit. Respectfully, Helen Grant, Murkoff Legal Mitigation Department. But yeah, I'm going to just try to like, get everything I can. I'm not going to grab everything. I won't be able to record everything because I don't know where everything is, but I'm trying. I'm going to do my best. Whoa. Oh, that's sad. Oh. They didn't choose this. They're being experimented on. Can we lock? No, 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 no. Lock the door. <laughs> I would not be walking around with that giant out there. They lie. Alright, here we go. Oh no. That dick. Oh no. Gotta record everything. I bet you will. I bet you will. You are one massive man.
Good thing I didn't check both lockers. Alright, I think it's safe to exit. Uh, was it notes that popped up? I'm oh, sorry. Yeah. Big fucking guy. <laughs> the big fucker is stalking me. Found a patient file for a Chris Walker, ex military police, several tours in Afghanistan. A lot of the blood on this place is on his hands, but not all of it. Alright, that was all for this part. I hope you enjoyed. <laughs> I hope you enjoyed, and I will see you on the next part. I'm sorry for any background noise, and yeah, just let me know how you liked it, and I'll see you on the next part. Bye.